here's what I'm getting from this. What I'm getting from this is that when this person lost, when this person left the Calvinist church, that the elders no longer had narrative control. And so since they lost narrative control, they're trying to use the concept of sin and guilt and forgiveness to make the person come back and re- retract on their departure so that the the tennis ball can be put back into the court of of the yeah. elders yeah. rather than this person exercise their own autonomy in leaving and talking to whoever they think that they should leave to, uh, be able to talk to yeah yeah, yeah. You see, you see how that 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 manipulation narrative control there using their uh, using their religious title and leadership as a yeah. as a manipulation. There's another so, feature to. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go, oh, go ahead. Well, there's another feature to it too, um, which is when you have offended the narcissist, which this person obviously has offended this this pastor. When you've offended the narcissist, you see a lot of what we call narcissistic defenses arise. Mm-hmm. And one of the principal ones is they start demeaning you. Listen to how demeaning, I don't know if it's a him or her, but how demeaning uh, this, this person is made to feel yeah. That, yeah. That, they're, that they're wrong, that they've, they've done something egregious, that they've talked behind their back, that they're they're manipulating people behind the, their back, and and uh, you're just not really a good person. We'll make you good. Right. We'll give you grace if you come back. But if not, you're just like a we we ball. can make you good. We can redeem you essentially yeah. in different words. Otherwise, you're a slime ball. I mean, this, they're painting a slime ball here. Yeah, the they're only reason away. you can be back in good is if you get good with us. Correct. Right. You repent. Wow. And uh, so the manipulation in this, this is this is manipulative language. <laughs> this yes, is very this is no ownership on their part of anything and and no um, no uh, I guess grace on their part by saying, Yeah, you it's all right if you don't believe what we believe anymore. Uh, you know, I can understand why you have your own mind. You're that people don't get their own mind in their own will, they get excoriated which is happening to this young man or woman or older man or woman yeah, right, right here on the spot. Uh, he mm-hmm. or she's getting excoriated uh, in, in Christian ease, in Christian yes. terminology. Yes, Christian ease. Yeah. That's what's That's, happening. And it's blatant. It's another tool in the kit bag. Yeah. It's, it bleeds it off is. the page to me. It just bleeds off the page. And I've seen this right in front of me before I've seen on narcissist talk and speak of, of uh, their wives, for example, or people are, um, they're pretty clever sometimes to not play their card in front of me, but, uh, but this is really what happens. However, you can punish somebody and, and, and make them look unworthy and of little worth or little value in what they're doing and saying till they come back to their senses, you know, and, and adore me as the pastor again and adore the pastoral staff and repent yeah, like you can't way. be right apart from me. Right. That's right. Cause you, you don't even exist apart from me. You're just one of my flock that better believe what I believe, or I'm going to go after you. Uh, yeah. that's, yeah. and I think, I think a lot of this is unconscious. I don't think they necessarily see what they're doing, but in that first paragraph you read, that's just a projection of themselves. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> right. A projection of them. Um, and their ignorance of the truth. 